you want to try something, do. Don't think you have to like be the best photographer to be worth trying or be the best singer or musician to be worthy of putting on a show. Your phone has a camera. You can try anything you want. Nothing is real. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I started taking photos at shows um, because my two biggest passions in life are cameras and pop. So why not mix the two together, you know? I was visiting my best friend because my best friend lives here. We met at summer camp for 12. <laughs> and I was visiting him over the summer. I was supposed to stay all summer, so like three whole months. And then that's when he took me to like my first show at Trip 6. And uh, I was like, damn, this shit's awesome. And I fell in love with Houston. And I fell in love with the scene. And then I went back to school. Not to brag, guys. It's the number one art school in the country. Okay. And I was a film major, and I went back, and I was like, you major in high school. Tom. Yes. Thank you. Um, and I was like, damn, I miss that shit, and I can't be here in the middle of the California mountain where the population is 2,000 people, and I'm doing nothing. Yeah. And so, so you were I was in like, the city in LA. You no. Were like, oh, yeah. Okay. That's different experience than being in LA. Yes. And um, I was like, yeah, no, no, I gotta go back. So I just. I just was like, hey mom, I'm, I'm gonna, I think I wanna move. And she was like, okay. <laughs> and then I just did. So I moved in with my best friend. So yeah. That's fucking crazy, crazy, dude. Yeah. Like the scene like kept you here. You yeah, honestly. Just like, for it, that. It was awesome. like, yeah. Your life is a scene. Honestly, like my entire life does revolve around the scene right now. I'm gonna be so honest. Yeah. The reason why I love that, like taking pictures of shows is because of like it feels like we're watching history go by like every day. Like when we go to shows, we see history going on. It's like, whoa. I think that what I love most about photographing shows is like having the opportunity to create like an archive of the music scene, like as it is right now. Because I really love looking at like old photographers from like '70s punk, like Edward Clover, and like all of those like old pictures of Minor Threat and stuff. And I just want to. <laughs> I and I just want to do something like that just like for this scene like today because I think that it's like we have so much shit going on and it's so cool so I just want to create like a archive of it for people to look back on in the future like I'm doing right now with other so it's like I just love when people like get excited about seeing pictures of themselves because it's like I don't know, everyone loves seeing pictures of themselves. And I just think it's really important to like document that. And also, short answer, it's just so fun. Like it's it's literally just so fun. Best hobby. Right, right? I just do it for the clout. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, totally just, I just I'm doing There's it for the no repos. numbers. <laughs> uh, it caps at a thousand. <laughs> I get a like, I'm like, no, I'm just kidding. No, I mean same exact thing. It's like I love like the bands are fun to shoot and stuff like that, like, of course. But it's also like, it is like the people at the shows having fun. But like, if there's no photos, you just hear about it like word from mouth. Or you know, you got the music on Spotify and stuff. I feel like photos do such a good job at like facilitating the foundation that all of that's like on, which is like the scene and stuff like that. Okay, I got top three favorite bands I've photographed. <clears throat> They're like, just like the ones that were most enjoyable to photograph, I think. But all of them are really enjoyable to photograph, by the way, guys. Okay, and this is in no particular order. <laughs> Lagrimas. In oh, love with them. Yes, yes. So fucking much. Um, literally huge shout out to them. They're actually like my favorite band ever. Like of all time. I'm so for real. Like, I'm obsessed with them. Um, and then, Mexican Coke. Um, I fucking love taking photos of them. Well, first of all, they're fucking awesome. I love them. Um, but... It's really fun to fucking photograph them because of their stage presence and because, you know, their whole shtick, like, with the gun and shit. Like, I think that shit's really fucking cool and it looks dope in photos. And their crowd goes crazy every time. Um, so, that's always really fun. And then, right. Oh, shit. I'm so for real, dude. I know, I've only taken photos for twice. Um, but, that shit is... That, that those are really good because because of your stage presence dude like 
Um, it's just, it's really helpful when the bands are looking cool as fuck on stage and y'all look cool as fuck. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you, I'm glad. When the band actually looks like they want to be there, the yeah. pictures are so much yeah. better. And when the crowd is matching the energy of the oh, band. Yeah, for sure. So my favorites would be uh, definitely Mexican Coke, uh, Juice Box lately, and for sure Bozos. 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 They, 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 it's because of their hair, though. I, I just, like, fuck with their music the most. Like, out, out of any band that I know in Houston, like, they're my favorite because they have a unique style. And every time I watch them play, it's, like, fun to, like, listen to the music and it's, like, the thrill of, like, moshing and, like, the high energy piece. And, like, it's hard for me to have, like, a band where it's, like, ah, the music is, like, vibey and, like, I want to fucking, like, pit also. So... The photos um, of, like, Robbie mouth fully agape, those are, like, yeah. the most iconic. My favorite bands are like, I love being pictures of Grime, even though I did it twice as well. Yeah, you got some fucking sick ones. Dude. Yeah, I love like, yeah, yeah, I whenever you're in the air, ones. that's always the best. Those are Orion as well. And then I love being down, down Kyoto. <laughs> Been doing a lot of like the Blueberry Street Studio yeah. promo stuff, which is like, to me, it's like, it's been like one of the most like, like I'm so grateful to be doing it. Also like you're getting these bands like in such goofy environments. I remember it, like at one point when I was doing the first Blueberry Street like photo session, um, I like, it's like, damn, I should have brought like a sock puppet or something to like, you know, like be like a yearbook photographer. Yeah. Uh, made me consider that job because that's a, it, it'd be pretty fun just to get like the best out of people just when they're just like sitting around not with their instruments. Because most of these bands, they can act on as hardcore as they want. They're all pretty damn goofy at the end of the day. And it's it's fun kind of getting them out of their element. And like, just like, you know, getting them out in the wild and stuff like that. And that, that goes for like, you know, like people in the audience as well. And I love taking pictures of photographers as well. Which like, sometimes I get scared. It's like, man, hopefully my flash isn't like offsetting them because I'm taking a picture of them or something. I think the main thing actually that I wish I knew was taking photos at shows confidence is key okay because i used to be so fucking terrified and i would just try to be like invisible and i was like are they gonna get annoyed that i'm using my flash right. oh no the flash is not <laughs> annoying that still doesn't happen to really? you <laughs> i had to speak out a little bit that. Kind of. When you but, have one um, of these, it's like, I'm sorry, I know yeah. you're fine now, this is my bad. Um, but it's not until like you hand someone the camera and they flash at you and I'm like, okay, I'm blinded, but like, it's not that bad. Well, I was just talking actually to Josh from Downkill last night and he said, I said, I'm sorry, does it blind you? And he said, no, it actually makes me feel really cool. Right? Because he's like, classic like, answer from him, bro. Yeah. Josh from and Downkill. And I was like, and I was like, great, got it. Glad to know it's not annoying. But basically... Another thing about the confidence is I would kind of like be very standoffish and so I wasn't getting like the best angles that I could. Um, TBH, my angles kind of sucked ass in the beginning. <laughs> like, um, and so just like, I wish I had the strength to like build up the confidence quicker to like put myself in there. Cause now I have no issue doing that. It's like, I have a camera, so excuse me, excuse me. And you know, go to the front or like get in the pit. Um, so, yeah, that was really difficult when I was first starting out. Stories about an experience you had photographing a show. Um, so the first one off the top of my head is, I'm not gonna say where it, where it was, because it was not super legal, but it was in a building in Houston, in like downtown, and I had to like, the, the, the instructions were like, go into this building, go down this hallway, go to the left, like go to the right, go, go, go past like the third door, Climb and, then, the mountain. and then go up one more flight of stairs, and then you're at the show. Whisper and it was it was a hardcore <laughs> show, and it was um, Mexican Coke and Substance, and um, like another band from Dallas. And I just remember like, I kind of first stumbled upon the hardcore scene then, and it was so fucking funny to go to a show that felt like secret instructions to find like a room in a video game like an easter egg <laughs> and i like you just go through these hallways and like oh there's a fucking hardcore show in a tiny room one of my favorite show memories would be like going to the demand of future show i think that's what it's called demand of future yeah. at uh the iheart houston sign like, that one was you were fucking cr yeah dude so crazy Juice i remember Box's debut oh dude i i loved it it was yeah. so awesome it was like the definition of like pure raw energy in a place where probably they were saying like it was gonna get shut down 
I think there were cops that drove past and were like, oh, it's just a normal night in Edo, like, whatever. Like, like it all went, like, splendidly. And I remember I was just, like, wasn't having a great day or something and just being, like, kind of low energy. And I, like, I have a bad habit of sometimes being late to shows sometimes, which is, like, something I'm working on, too, uh, personally. And it's, like, I remember with this show beforehand, I saw, like, a flyer. There's a flyer for before you arrive, like, get there like at this time it's probably gonna start earlier like bands are setting up and shutting down it's gonna be quick sets like and i was like oh this seems like sketchy <laughs> like in a way like in a good way or, like i was like i was like this, these are specific instructions for a show <laughs> hmm, maybe i should show up kind of early and i I'm remember I, yeah i was like i showed up like 10 minutes 10 20 minutes early it's already packed and like it's just like bing bong like the show's going and it's like Four or five, like was it like four bands, right? Four bands, and they all had like five minute sets, I think, right? Like, Insane, yeah. It was and, all just hardcore. And they didn't skip sets. a beat. Like there wasn't like a slow opener. It was like, nope, we're gonna get right into it. Gnarly energy. I remember the first thing that happened is like I show up and I'm like, wow, this is really packed. Band immediately starts playing like before they're even set up or anything <laughs> like that. And it's just like the energy is like immediately like ignited. And I remember like I had someone cartwheel into me, which. It has only happened a few times. It happened to be my homie Dustin, but like that was just like such a great memory because I was like, it was like all set up, it was done, and then they broke down and everyone dispersed. And I was like, that was like the best fever dream I could ever dream of having. It was so fun. It was a great time. Definition of good energy in a show. Um, I can think of one. If you all ever went to the Dante's Room house shows, I've been friends with uh, Chris and Shelby and all of them for years now. I had a bit to drink, so I fell asleep on their couch, as I do. I, I always fall asleep at the end of the night. But when I woke up, I remember like I went to edit the next day, and there were pictures of a band I hadn't seen, and I was like, "How the fuck did I do this?" And I found out that people were just taking my camera and going oh, around and taking pictures. Shit. But like, it made it back to me, like, because my friend that was giving me my ride home. Um, he has a really strong mustache. So like, if you just say the mustache man, people will be like, oh, he's over there. So like, he had the camera and he was passing it and people were just taking pictures on it. And they turned out so cool. Like some were pretty shitty, but like it was just cute of seeing pictures, like community camera vibes. That was fine. My, one of my favorites is the one that I took of Ish and um, Lord Fishface, AKA Donnie at House of J. And like, I took it on a Canon Rebel T2i, which is a really fucking shitty camera. It's like 10 years old. Um, and it was super grainy because they had a fucking fog machine in House of J and I had flash on. So fog and flash don't mix. And I just caught the perfect moment where like Ish had the mic and he was just like going crazy and then Fishface was like behind him. And that photo ended up in the Houston Chronicle and it was taken Whoa. on a yeah. shitty camera. Nice. And I'm really proud of that one. Um, and then all the ones that I got of Juicebox I'm really happy with like a couple weeks ago. My, my favorite ones that I've taken are like the portraits that I do. Those, those honestly have the most substance to me and the most meaning. And I think that like it's cool to take action shots, but action shots only show like a very surface level like view of what the scene is like and what the community is like. And I think when you take pictures of people, it like humanizes all of that. And it focuses on like, like who is actually like making up the crowd who's making up the community like who's actually here so i think my portrait work is like my favorite photos um so this is um what's his name uh i forgot his name but he's he has like chicken nuggets and like some some ketchup and he's like like this is like outside of the mosh pit and he's just like preparing it and like dipping it in and then he throws it in the air and catches it in his mouth and i got the photo of that's a chicken nugget in the air wait wait let me see this shit yeah Chicken nugget in the air. That's correct. Oh, no, Chicken good. nugget in the air. One, Chicken yeah. nugget in the air. Oh my god. Um, I have, I think my crowd pictures are my favorite, more so than the actual bands. Um, I have this one of my friend with the Annie doll wall oh. at Happy Funland that I really like. He looks real spooky. And then the one that I posted with it of them washing. I think that my favorites are, um, the last show that we had at Walter's, um, where like, it was like Septic and I forgot who else. And Roman was out there and I was shooting film and I, I really love like doing the shows where I get to do something different. 
um, and I'm not good at shooting film, and I'm still not good at shooting film. But those turned out really cool, and I'm just really excited about those. But this is like one of the best ones I've ever taken. So it, right now, it's my current favorite. Um, it's it's this one. Uh, the band is Incarnate Dystopia. They're like a porno grind band. They're fucking right. awesome. <laughs> I've yeah. never heard of porno grind, guys. And so honestly, what, like what you just said just reminded me. It's like when I, I've, I've done some prints like before in the past, and something that like really like struck me was it was a simple picture at Breast Fest. I'm like behind, I think it's either Dante's room that's playing or Downkill. And I have a picture of Ben, Shelby, and like a few other people in the front row. And I remember I made some prints of it and I was like writing on the back of them. And I remember Ben coming up to my table and just being like, bro, I'm giving this to my grandma. Like, thank you. And I was like, I was like, oh yeah? And you're like, yeah, dude, like this is like, you know, it's just me like, you know, doing what I do. It's like they're because they're taking a picture of me while I'm in the back. And I just remember you telling me that story and I was like, dude, that is like yeah. the most wholesome thing I've ever like again, that's like that's why you do it. You know, it's like because it's like you yeah. hear things about that and it's like that's one thing I love about printing prints, which is like you know, people like come up and they're like, some people who have no connect, they're not the people at all. They're just, they've been to those shows and just grabbing a whole bunch of prints like, oh my gosh, I was at this show. Like, hell yeah, like I'm gonna, you know, cut this up and put it on my nightstand or something. You I know, and it's. I have a, one last picture to show. This is my other favorite picture. My, la my most oh, favorite. Oh, that's iconic. This is like oh, my yeah. most favorite here. I'm like, this guy, like, I remember just like his friend told me, like, oh shit, like, I hit him in the back. I'm like, I told him to turn around and I get a face shot, but I like this shot because this is him in the moment. Yeah. I like Super Happy Fun Land just because you can get, like, it has an actual stage and you can get on stage and get really good crowd shots. Mm -hmm. And just, there's always, like, something weird going on there with, like, all of the installation work and stuff. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Getting on the Happy Fun Land stage is such a hazard, though. If you go on the right That's side, so they got oh, all you the gotta shit be, back there. You gotta be so present when you're doing <laughs> that. Right. You don't like know this. what could happen. All right. There's no, like, running for the shot. You gotta, like, yeah. parkour to get there. <laughs> Some random stuff at that venue, too. It's like, why is there a... I'm trying to think. Giant just, baby doll? The it's like, there's an exhaust stage. pipe back here for some reason. Like, and a yeah. grand piano. Okay. Um, we're releasing issue three of... Uh, Temp Tats on March 17th. Uh, it's going to be released at 224 Stival um, by Orion 224 at the Prime East. And then I'm working on issue four right now. Um, I just did my first interview for it with the posers. Um, so we're really excited for it. It's going to be really cool. That was cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm picking what's the most challenging part of being a show photographer. Um, I think for me it's like keeping up with all the shit and like just finding ways to be like regular and like keep going out and take pictures but like not getting burnt out and I think like that's a challenge for me um, and especially over the long run after you like start taking pictures for like two years it's like it becomes hard to like want to go out like every single weekend like all the time and then also like I said like keeping up with the things keeping up with like that and trying to be regular but then also like throwing more projects on top of it um, which is what Tyler, Tyler and Miles are really good at. They're like, every single fucking weekend, they're like out and doing shit. And it's like, how you already released the photos from last night? I'm yeah. like, I'm That's, like, I haven't even <laughs> thought about it. Yet. I edit them the same night. Yeah. It's I hard used to, to do that. If, um, I'm, if I'm really excited about them, I'll edit them the same night. And then if I'm like really tired after the show, I'll save them. And the next day, I'll go to like a cafe or something. And I'll spend like five hours in Starbucks just doing them all at once. Yeah, it takes it's a long time. Mm -hmm. See, that's why it gets hard to do it on your phone, because then you're just like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it gets but way copy, too stressful. <laughs> copy settings and pasting them on different photos is like the only way I can get through anything. Presets, dude. Yeah, presets, presets. presets. I have so many. I've got like new, actually good preset group things. Like, you know, See, I like shoot really myself in the foot. I don't have presets, even though I have the option to save them. So I just like try to memorize what I've been doing. You need to get on. <laughs> Happy Funland, that, those little steps they have to get up on yeah. the stage. I oh, get up there slippery. to get crowd shots, but I'm like, bro, if I fall right now, it's literally everyone in the Am I gonna unplug thing. something? The whole place just, you <laughs> think the whole place that. is, yes. you've done that before? I did that at House of J, that like last week. Oh, oh my god, god. that's scary. They, they need to figure <laughs> out that's the so scary. they're everywhere. <laughs> it was the beginning of their, it was beginning of, uh, 
Antitrust set. It was like their second song, and I was trying to move behind the drummer, and I fucking like kicked the power switch. No. Which of course it's a fucking like, <laughs> it's like a what's it called? Power strip, which is that's like the venue's, you know. Yeah. It's a house. Mm -hmm. I kicked it, pressed the power button, oh, turned dude. it off. Worst fear. You just think a spotlight's just gonna and turn everyone, on the you. Worst right? was, everyone was like, bam! I was like, <laughs> just keep like. Keep creating, like keep doing like, you know, fun stuff, whether it's taking photos, whether it's creating a magazine, whether it's playing music, practicing music, anything like it's like crazy because like things grow because people do things and people like collaborate and people keep coming up with ideas like just keep having fun and like keep your heart open, you know, love each other. Yeah. Like keep like meeting people. Just just keep living. So, so basic, but I love it. Yeah.